hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and thank you for tuning in so the plants in front of me here today is the monstera albo the most wanted house plant of all time and one of the most expensive plants to begin with and it's still one of the most wanted plants until to this day and today i'm going to show you all these plants these plants actually came from one mother plant and if you can just see this video this video is back in 2021 this is the unboxing video of this plant I have here a few babies and they are all in self watering pot and there is one in um, cement pot so all of them here plus my main plant I'm gonna show you one by one what they look like the the plants or the cuttings that's one two so this one don't have much variegation at all the speckles very minimal but sometimes they would decided to throw a good variegated leaf and then when they do that's when is the chance to cut cut it back to that node and it will give a nice variegated leaf just like this one this one has a nice variegated leaf and also it did have a really nice growing eye here when it started as you can see here I'm gonna show you what happened here this was the very first leaf on this cutting and you can see there's nothing at all but then the next one has this beautiful beautiful leaf and this is I can see here the next leaf it looks like it's going to have a variegation and I'm, my fingers are crossed this one here also it's an okay leaf and it has a nice growing eye there and here is the next one also this one here has a very minimal variegated leaf but I have this big fat growth here so it doesn't look like it's much variegation in here but when it started off before it activated it there's a few lines of whites in there so fingers crossed fingers crossed guys that this will also be a nice plant and this one here too this would be one of the good ones. You can see this is like a half marbling and half grain leaf. And it also have a new leaf coming. This is also this is another thing that I'm telling you guys. The first leaf, if it's green, it might give you a good variegation. Maybe not. So this is the first leaf on this coming. It's got a little bit of speckles. And this is the next one. So hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed that this next one will have a good coloring and that is the node and the big plant behind it is another another um, cutting actually so so this one I potted it into a cement pot it's a or ceramic and it has a very minimal variegation on the stems you can see and the, but the top here it looks like it's giving me more variegation here so I'm gonna go through all the leaves there's six leaves here guys so the first leaf is this one here minimal variegation second one again minimal variegation the third one is showing some nice blotchy coloring here and then the fourth leaf it's probably one of the best one you can see here and then the fifth leaf here it's actually okay I can live with this with this monstera albo because it's an assurance that the leaves are not gonna go dry so quickly because there's a lot of grain in here 
but this is the very newest leaf it is a marbling all the way as you can see here and it has a nice splits and it's also started to give defenestration so and it's actually quite a big leaf from the rest you can see here it's like more than two hands of my hand and I think this one here grow quickly because like I said there's a lot of green here and it is actually getting a lot of lights a lot of sunlight especially in the morning and that's the aerial roots so we have the main roots in there this is an aerial root aerial root and there's another one here so guys I could have cut this plant in two so we got one two I could have cut this plant into three or four plants but I am trying to grow this vertically and I am planning to actually sell this plant hopefully the next leaf will give a good variegation because it's getting a really nice amount of sunlight in the morning and here guys this is the one that I class as my main plant because I want it to be the mother plant and you can see here there is a multiple plants in one pot here this is the self-watering pot this is actually magnetic so if I lift it up that thing here that has a magnet there you go and that's the cotton wick so every single one of those pots except this one here those are all self watering pot also this one so those long thing that you can see that's just the cotton so if you have a water here it would soak the water that it needs it will go up to the roots so I'm gonna show you these beautiful pots so every time you spin this or I spin this a leaf is facing me that's why I grow this plant like this it's very bushy and I'm not growing this vertically so I'm what happened is I keep on cutting this every time there's a new aerial roots that's established into the media and here I have I have four plants here from one cutting I'm gonna show you it's just a bit hard because it's very cramped in here in this pot so let's do um, this is this is actually the very main plant of this this pot and we have this two three and four this one four so what I do guys what I did is when this one here grew that aerial root and that aerial root and that aerial root and this one here so I just chopped them up I didn't chop them up all at the same time so um, it's very hard for me to know which one is the first cutting okay I think I think this is the first cutting here so this this was all connected this was all connected and then this has the um, this one here it was the very first successful aerial roots so I just chopped it here so those ones those ones were still connected sorry guys it's a bit hard to see those ones were still connected and then an aerial roots would pop up again I'll just chop it and now I have multiple plants in here so the goal here is to have a few new leaf because I like the look of the new leaves nice and shiny nice and bright nice and healthy rather than having one vertical plant that is just showing one new leaf if that makes sense so here I have I have actually have four growth here this one that took forever to activate which is the main this was the main the main one that one there it took forever I didn't think it was gonna actually sorry guys sorry guys this is the main one yeah and this is the one next to it which is the second to the main plant and I have four plants five growth five new growths this one here is the main one that gave me two 
to new growth I'll show you guys it's just a bit hard without I don't want to damage anything so you can see here that's a growth and this one here so that's coming from one node guys you can see that's what I do guys every time there's an area of root that is grown into the media and if I can cut cut it into two plants I do it because I just wanted to have this bushy bushy look of this monstera albo and you can see every time every time I just turn turn this it's facing me the leaf rather than this one here this one here it's just facing like this so if I turn it here it's facing the different way so this one here it's a really good really good pot but soon I will have to repot it to a bigger pot because there's more plant here and this is only a small you can see my hand a small square pot but this is probably one of my favorite self-watering pot so thank you guys for watching please do watch that video of unboxing video of my Monstera Alba So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this video showing you my beautiful Monstera elbow.